Earlier this year, I was in a crash in a cycling race, moving at about 25 miles an hour uphill, according to my cycling computer, where I sustained traumatic brain injuries, road rash on my left side from my shoulder all the way down to my ankle, a broken left collarbone, broken ribs, nerve damage, and four herniated cervical discs. For Ernie, this was a really traumatic event because he was a really avid cyclist as well as inline skater. So this had totally taken him out of his sport and the things that he enjoyed to do on a day-to-day -day basis. During my initial consultation and first couple of visits with Randy and her team at the UCF PT clinic, um, they assessed my range of motion in my shoulder, my ability to, to rotate my arm and my hand, to be able to do simple things, like everyday things that people should be able to do. And uh, Randy and the team came up with a very distinct plan to, to get me back to normal, both in my everyday living as well as in my athletic life. Uh, and that became extremely important to me. When I first met Ernie, he was really having a hard time because he had been used to training for 20 hours a week, cycling and working out. And now he was having issues with even using his left arm to cut food. Um, or get dressed or be able to lift over his head. So it was really important for him to get back to a high level of function, but we first had to get him back to just being able to do the basic things as eating and doing his normal activities that he would do on a day-to-day -day basis. Randy initiated what she called back to competition activities, which included more complex movements that further challenged my range of motion and my strength. We try to focus a lot on him doing things that he wanted to do and then also intertwining with what we needed to do for physical therapy for him to regain his function. As a physical therapist, you often meet patients that are super grateful and thankful for the things that we're able to help them get back to doing. Ernie, after he completed his marathon, came by and brought his actual performance medal, which really meant a lot because that's one thing that's special to him and that's his first marathon back and then he was so thankful that he brought it into the clinic for us um, to show his thankfulness um, for all the things that we helped him do. Looking back at the crash and my recovery after it, I really need to give a thanks to my wife and my son who supported me 100% along the way, as well as Coach Joe from the SPEED team and Randy at Physical Therapy at UCF. Thanks guys.